family and welcome back. Today we are going to be testing our Beyond Burger burgers. I made them here at home. Also have some tater tots that I made um, to go along with them. We have lettuce, tomato, and vegan, excuse me, vegan mayo on our burgers. And so we're going to be testing them to see how they are. Now I had the Beyond Burger at Burger King once and it just it threw me off it tasted so much um i tasted the charcoal in it It tasted so meaty and oh kind of threw me off so anyway i decided i'd um get them from the store bring them home and make them up myself to see what they tasted like and i wanted to share that with you guys now i know that lots of people have tried the beyond burgers and they've given their opinions on them but i haven't so i thought i would do that and let you guys know um, how Alana and I find them to be. So, let's go ahead and dig in. First, we need to be thankful. Gracious Father, thank you for this food. We ask you to make a nourishment for our body. For it is in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Amen. So, let's go ahead and try it. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> there's a meat place i mean a burger place and where i live and i tried a vegan burger there and it tastes exactly like this really well maybe their vegan burger was beyond meat probably mm -hmm. well it tastes like i don't know if it tastes like hamburger mm. It tastes smoky. Mm. Has somewhat of a smoky flavor. Mm. Mm. Well, I've got onion on here, tomato and lettuce. I'm tasting that as well. I put a little bit of um, soul food seasoning on here, and that's garlic and onion powder, paprika, things like that. So the flavor is pretty good. It's good. You like it? You would eat it again? Yeah. I don't think it's something I'd eat on a regular basis. But, you know, if there were a picnic or something that yeah. I needed to go to uh, cook out or something, I would definitely, I wouldn't mind throwing one of these on the grill. Yeah, like if I, it. if I went to like a cookout or like something like that, then I eat it. It wouldn't be my first choice if somebody was like, what do you want to eat? Wouldn't be that. But. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well. Let's talk about the texture. People say that it's like extra. It, it looks, it looks like a real hamburger. Hold it up there. It looks exactly like a real hamburger, just about. Well, it's different when you look at it than um, ground beef. I think sometimes in ground beef, they've added filler. And so kind of looks like this, but if you ever had a real you know, ground beef, where you've made it yourself, you can kind of see the difference um, in it. Mm. I mean, you can kind of tell that it's made up of, like, different things smushed together. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. The texture is a bit different. And I do see um, the difference in there. I'm so glad. You can see it, that there is a difference. Hmm. Um, I'm probably mine isn't as juicy as um maybe some of some other people's because it said cook it four minutes on each side. Of course, I went longer because mine was frozen. 
I wanted to make sure I got it through and through, so I went longer than four minutes on each side. And, but I still, it's tasty, and I think it makes a good alternative um, if you want a, a burger, if you're a burger lover. I've never been a burger lover. I'm not someone who craves burgers. Therefore, this wouldn't be something that I would eat on a regular basis. I definitely, um, like I said, it's a good alternative if you're at a burger party or you have serving burgers or something like that. I mean, I don't know. like I said, I'm not a big old burger person anyway, so. But. Honestly, me neither. I don't really like hamburgers. I don't like the taste of like. Beef? Yeah. Ground beef? Beef. Mm-mm. Well. That was pretty much it, guys. We give it a thumbs up. Um, I do think I like it better if I cook it at home. Or if I cook it myself. I feel better about it. Because I know how it's been made, been cooked. So I think that makes me feel better about it. I was a little leery eating it at Burger King because it did. It was my first time having it. It did taste similar to... Um, burger meat and I really wasn't sure what I was eating and so that bothered me um, to some degree so I think I feel better if I do it at home and home is best anyway because you know what oils are being used and if it is being cooked with meats and the juice from the meats is, are mingling with it or whatever but anyway that was pretty good what would you rate it out of 10 out of 10, I would say that this burger is probably a six, seven. Yeah, seven or eight for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was pretty good. These tater tots aren't bad either. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, nice and crunchy. Um, something else I wanted to talk a little bit about. Oh, it's been a while since we did a video. And that was because I think with um, everything that's been going on with um, COVID and all of that, it really did something to me. Um, you know, when I say that, I mean, I have really been thinking about all of this and what's going on and what the future is going to look like and things of that nature. And it just slowed me down. I want to walk. Apologize to you guys. It's not wasn't because I wasn't thinking about you or I didn't want to make a video. I just felt like I had brain fog and um there for a while and I just could not. I just couldn't think get it together and to think of something that I would bring you guys that I thought would be interesting enough for you. So anyway, and then Alana, she went back home, she wasn't here. And so my sidekick was missing and that bothered me somewhat too, you know. So anyway, she's back for a while and um, I don't know what the schools are doing everywhere else during, you know, all that's going on. But her school, they chose to stay closed yeah. for the year and they're going to be going to school online. So she'll be able to do that here with me or if she decides to go back home. The kids in our area um, are going to be, they think, they still, it's not definitive. Um, I mean, definite, sorry. But they think that the kids will be going maybe four days a week and wearing the mask and all of that that goes on. I'm hoping that by November, all of this will have blown over and we can go back to life, not as usual, but go back to life that is somewhat feels more normal um, to us. So, but anyway, we just wanted to come on and try those burgers and let you guys know um, how we feel about the burgers. Um, so we've rated it. It's 
uh, more than a five. So I said six, Alana said seven, eight. So pretty good burgers. You guys go ahead and try them and go down in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. If you've made it this far with me, we appreciate you so much. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. If you have not yet subscribed, then please do so. Go ahead, hit that subscription um, box and hit that notification bell so that when I do put up a video, you will be one of the first to know. So thank you so much for spending time with us again. We appreciate you. We love you. And go ahead about your day. Have yourself a great day. Bye now. Bye.